Hi, my name is Taha Rami. I'm an electrical application specialist at CAD Micro Solutions, and today I'll be presenting a short demo on Altium Vault. Engineers spend most of their time designing new solutions and products, but usually face a dilemma with design management and following company protocols, as these things can take precious time from the engineers. However, as much as the design is important, design management is also as important. And this begs the question, how are you carrying out revision control for your components and designs? Are you saving and resaving your files and adding new revisions to the file names? How are you ensuring that obsolete parts are not reused in the future designs? What about supply chain information? These are the questions that I'll be answering with the help of the Altium Vault. There are four major areas of focus for the Vault. Component management, managed project and collaboration, data management, and infrastructure management. Today, we will look at the component management. As you can see, I have a new schematic open. I've signed into my Altium Vault. Now I'll proceed to open the Vault panel. From the Vault panel, we can see that the left-hand side is reserved for the Vault folders. And the right top-hand side, we can see that this area is reserved for the content within those folders. And south of that, there will be information relevant to those components. As you can see, my vault folders are organized based on components, managed content, production releases, etc. And it's very easy and trivial to add new folders and subfolders. One can just right click, choose to add the folders that they would like. Let's take a look at the components. I've organized my components according to models and components. And these models are based on footprint models, simulation, models as well as schematic symbols in terms of my components I have several types I have capacitors connectors etc let's take a look at the details in the content of these uh, folders so this right here is a list of my capacitors when clicking on the plus sign, I can see the different revisions associated with this component. I have four revisions in total, and I can see one, two, three, four components. And I can use whichever one I want in my schematic or my project. And we'll see. We'll take a look at that more uh, up ahead. I can also see the state of the component, whether it's obsolete or in production. We'll also take a look uh, at the several states that we could use for our components. And also see the description and comment. Let's say I wanted to see a preview of the component. Do I have to place it on my schematic and open it that way? There's a simpler solution. I can simply go to the preview. And right away I'll be able to see not only the footprint but as well as the schematic symbol associated with this component. We can also see the models associated with the part. We can see the schematic symbol. This one is associated with the component or the part. And we can see this footprint associated with the, the component. Let's try to edit this footprint. And right away, we're taken into the footprint uh, viewer. Let's move this line back here. Just a simple edit. We can then save and release to the vault. We can add a description relevant to the changes we made. And now we can see that this footprint is associated with these two parts and so by editing this footprint we are revising um, the these two components as well click OK and right away again because the footprint was associated with several components it's taking us into the component library management tool telling us that you are also editing these components. You are also revising these components. What is needed here is to simply save and release to the vault. Let's select these two components. 
and release items. Over here, we are given details and a summary as to what exactly is being released to the vault. Summary, two new revisions will be created and released, and the detail obviously consists of the components that we are revising based on that footprint. Click OK. We can see that the release has been successful. We'll click Close. And now let's take a look back at our vault panel. Right away we can see that the revision of these two components, again those associated with the footprint that we edited, have been revised as well. Viewing that footprint associated with the component, we can see that it too has been revised from two, from the second revision to the third revision. Lifecycle management is another great tool of Altium Vault. Let's take a look at this tool. All right, by going into this view view mode, we can see the different revisions associated with this component, all the way from initiation to revision five. We can also see that there are different lifecycle stages associated with each revision. As you can see from revision four, it's in production. Revision three as well is in production. What are the different life cycle stages that we could uh, choose from? Let's take a look at that. So there are generally uh, five stages that we can choose from. New from design, abandoned, in production, deprecated, and obsolete. And we start our designs in planned mode. Each one of these stages has associated actions that I can uh, proceed or use to move on to another stage. Now, let's say I wanted to change one of these revisions, these older revisions, to an obsolete stage so that designers don't use this revision. How can I do this? I can simply right click, and from here I can see that I have two options either to deprecate. Uh, revision 3 or make it obsolete. I'll make it obsolete. It tells me no errors detec detected and what it's doing over here is seeing if I have any other project or designs currently in production or in design mode that happen to use this revision. I'll click OK and then we can see that it has been changed to obsolete. The date has also been registered and set. What about supply chain information? Do you often find yourself Googling different components, researching them, and manually adding them to your billing material? Altium Vault handles this seamlessly. Let's take a look at that. So if you were to look at the supply chain information of this component, we can see the pricing information and the availability, as well as different suppliers. So the current supplier is from DigiKey, but we can change the suppliers to Mauser work and we can see that the pricing and availability also changes. Using and placing components that we've designed and stored into our vault is very simple and easy. We can simply select a component and either right click and place it or we can just drag and drop. Not only that but we can also use specific revisions and components. So here I can choose to use the first revision of this component. Moving on to the first component that we edited, the life cycle stage four. If I choose to use the third revision, which has been made obsolete, by double clicking on the component and viewing its properties, we can see that the revision state is obsolete and not applicable. And this can be very important for designers. Another great tool with Altium Vault is that we can view exactly where these components are being used. Taking a look at this component, we can go to where used, and it'll tell us that this one hasn't been used in any uh, one of our product uh, our projects. But if I choose the second revision, however, it will tell us that it has been used in this PCB project. All right, Altium Vault also comes with a browser-based management tool. And this tool could be great for those uh, co-workers in your organization that are not really meant to edit the specific designs and components, but would like to view, uh, would like to view them uh, or view the revisions and perhaps place orders or requests. Let's take a look at that. I'm viewing the browser right now and I'm in the home tab currently. 
the users tab I can configure users in my organization or in my vault I can also configure their roles whether they are designers or others projects I can view the projects currently stored in my vault and when I go to vault I can see exactly this data and information uh, as well as the folders that I used in the Altium vault panel and as we saw in the Altium vault panel we can choose to view um, a preview of the components or the life cycle as well as where it's being used at the same time they can also save or download uh, current revisions or components without being in the Altium uh, environment one powerful feature associated with the, with the browser is part requests I can place part requests to certain users or engineers by going to part request and adding a request I can specify the manufacturer the part number as well as attaching technical documentation with the part and then I can choose to assign it to specific users and then by saving it will send a request to that user and as well as an email okay well this concludes my presentation and my demo I hope you found it beneficial Thank you for tuning in.